seven thousand indicates marriage happening of marriage getting of girlfriend breaking of marriage all seven house is able to indicate good planet influencing the seventh house will indicate good result related to seventh house meeting of life partner getting married bad planets influencing the seventh house will indicate that the native is having bad results in marriage divorce or separation fight etc weak planet will indicate weak results related to seventh house weak results mean you are searching for a bride you are not able to find her you are trying to save your marriage you are not able to save her weak planet will make you helpless in the matters of the house where he is influencing right this is the particular reason many a times people can be happy that oh my saturn is connected to seventh house so i get married in saturn dasha akta dasha it may not happen if saturn is weak because it is weak it is indicating weakness in the matters of the seventh house which means that you may not get life partner in saturn dasha akta dasha may not get will not get in a step you should say will not get right sir i'm oh, sorry if i'm not interrupting your flow or mm -hmm. uh, you know ask ask yeah so if it is like uh, since you have uh, given a beautiful introduction in uh, kp mm -hmm. your opinion on ashtavarga sir uh, how far very good system sir? very very good system so if you uh, compare with shadbala and ashtavarga which one will you give to important no, no. sir more shadbal is natural strength of planet to be able to produce result okay sir ashtavarga makes the planet benefic or malefic so a planet weak in ashtavarga is not a planet who is useless mm, as in okay. shadbal if a planet is weak in shadbal the planet cannot produce result planet weak in shadbal cannot produce more result so you say weak venus in shadwal i appreciate weak venus in shadwal means you have one wife only strong venus in shadwal means you have multiple wives so it is more about multiplicity of results than to whether the result will happen or not shadwal is more about whether the result will happen or not because uh, why i brought this topic there is a reason sir because in one of your community posts in youtube mm -hmm. you have mentioned uh, about uh, arumolar kannadi remedy yes, yes 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 for a person who is having moon uh, uh, in his own bernashtakwarga less bindu he is consider unlucky you uh -huh. have written sir yes, that yes. means i thought uh, there you must have given importance to uh, own bernashtakwarga then only you will give remedies yes uh, yes yes own bernashtakwarga is very important in fact in this is vedic astrological setup no whatever we are learning up to this extent this works more with house lordship less with significatorship my point is very simple if venus is lord of 10th house we say is a natural signification of seven, natural significator of 7th house also now venus being lord of 10th house if he is afflicted does it essentially means that 7th house is also afflicted or significator is also afflicted i think the analysis principles should be different when i am analyzing a planet as a house lord i will use shadbal and normal principles when i am going to analyze a planet as a significator i will go more on ashtavarga part if a planet is weak in ashtavarga his signification result is weak his signification result is bad and if the planet is afflicted in rashi chart otherwise then his house lordship is more affected this is the difference that i will take but this ashtavarga system sorry the way it is practiced nowadays i am very disappointed ashtavarga is introduced somewhere around 4th century ad 4th century bc in fact around 4th century bc it is introduced developed somewhere around kashmir i think parashar have developed it after the de original development of parashar in fact for the next 100 2000 years people worked over it then it got forgotten the importance of ashtavarga was reduced only to transit analysis 
up till 18th 19th century it was used only for transit analysis one two person in 18th 19th centuries tried to work over it unsuccessful and after that it is working on the same way so though a very powerful research but i believe first of all it is incomplete secondarily there are a lot of ignorance into it and thirdly it is not employed properly i'll give you an example so this moon suppose it is an ashtakvarga of moon so technically moon is situated in lagna and it is having you say these are the points in different houses suppose example now primary basic point i will analyze this moon as a significator and i will say moon as a significator is situated in a rashi with four points so basically the person is neither very optimistic but nor a great sadist he have a mixed bag of feelings that's all now if you ask what is his approach towards family i will see second from moon it is having two points regarding his family mentally keeping moon in mind mentally regarding his family he is not much connected to his family but to his siblings he is very much connected to his siblings to his mother not very much connected but to his father greatly connected to his children's not at all connected to his spouse he is quite ignorant and all of these things this will be my karaka based analysis so generally i will say stagvarga for karaka based analysis only that's the basic point right other than that few more things can be done in match making the stagvarga of moon becomes very important in the comparison between houses stagvarga becomes very important and because stagvarga is essentially how one planet is supporting other planet when it comes to mutual result of dasha antar dasha and all of that stagvarga becomes very important if i have to analyze the mahadasha of moon and antar dasha of mars then i will say i will see in the stagvarga of moon where mars is situated in and in that rashi how many points mars is having x y z multiple things but there are few problems sorry moon is getting four points what if this four point is given by saturn mars sun and mercury in this case three are malefics only one is benefic though four point renders the whether this four point in the rashi where moon is situated in renders the moon medium powerful or medium benefic this is my question this is medium powerful or medium benefic technically if moon is getting four points in the rashi where he is situated in minna ashtakvarga it means four planets are giving point to that rashi right so four planets are situated in four different houses and the rashi of the moon is at a house from their placement which is a point getting house right for example sun gives point to third sixth 10th and 11th house from its placement so moon is situated in a place from sun where sun gives point so technically this is where sun gives support so this moon is medium powerful or medium supported this does not make the moon medium benefic this does not make the moon medium benefic so in this case though moon is supported by four points that means to say the person is neither very optimistic nor sadist he is confirming with reality and Uh, uh, you know he is not having very high aspirations but neither he is a sadist and all of these things i cannot completely say that this moon is beneficial because the four planets giving point saturn mars sun mercury out of them only mercury is beneficial saturn mars sun are not so though this moon is supported but this moon is not beneficial this moon is malefic it is a bad moon so ignorance of this particular point no difference between the point is given by benefic planet and malefic planet and multiple other things because of this particular reason my uses of ashtakvarga at least for the public is very limited because if i start using the way i use it then i will have to tell many researches also <laughs> so that being the point one thing i have told you see also one more one more thing is there no sorry you think if a planet is combust he cannot give his result 
right? So if combust planet is giving a point, how effective is that point? Yes. The strength of a point given by an exalted planet and the strength of the point given by a debilitated planet will be equal. So it needs multiple modifications after the a few of modifications, you can use it. So, sir, like uh, my personal experience, mm -hmm. uh, right? We like uh, whichever chart I have seen, my own experience and telling, even mm -hmm. lower structure, I failed in some predictions. Sir. Like, I we will ask, no, sir, in personal interaction, is this happened to you? I mean, no, 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 nothing kind of thing. They, they have said it. But, uh, for example, if Venus says low windows, like, uh, are you having problems in having any comforts in life? I ask, no, 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 that's kind of this. But mm -hmm. if shut bulb low for any plant, that will never cheat, sir. Yes, yes, yes. you're right. You're right in this part. In fact, my Venus is having 1.8 Nashtagor. See, my life is very good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes. shed, if the planet is weak in shed bulb, planet is not giving result at all. If Venus becomes weak in shed bulb, then what Venus is indicating, luxury, comfort, it is completely out of his life, right? The result of Venus is gone. The okay. result of happiness, comfort is gone from his life. So certainly okay. Shadbal will never cheat you. Regarding okay. Ashtakvarg, as I told you, no, Ashtakvarg is only sport. It is neither a power nor weakness. It is neither good influence nor bad influence. It is just a support. Exactly. So my Venus being supported by one planet means that there is only one person who is giving me luxury. If the Venus is supported by seven, eight planets, suppose Venus is supported by eight planets, support that means it is supported by sun. Father will give you some luxury, mother will give you some luxury, brother will give you some luxury. All the profiles that planets are indicating, all of them will give some some luxury. Yeah. My Venus is supported by only one planet, that is Saturn. That means only one person is giving me luxury, that is me myself. <laughs> but it does not mean I will not get luxury. So the understanding and application of Ashtakvarg have to be refined. Yeah. Other than that, Ashtakvarg is a very good concept, but the way it is used and the way it is understood is very erroneous, very problematic. Yeah. I say something uh, for sorry. Yes, yes. Sorry, if you have to really learn the Ashtakvark, you should join the search course. It is totally different. Is why I'm saying before learning this course, I read books on the Ashtakvark, but the totally the concept changed. And so many hidden techniques are there, especially the Dasha and all. It weeks so quick, uh, it, it is so quick to analyze what is the good and the bad period. It is one of the best courses, sir. Sure, Sanjay. Sure, Sanjay. I'll, I'll definitely join. Actually, it was, you because know, you very. Yes, sir. Yes. I was just saying, I'm. Uh -huh. oh, yes. I'm saying, yes, sir. Nothing. Else. Yeah. So, you see, this Ashtakvarka course was my heart's desire to do since many, many long time. And one uh, particular person was. Very much requesting me to do it, though I did not give him that mission in the course. That is another point. <laughs> but it was my heart's desire to do a course on Ashtagvarga. No, it's since long, since starting, I wanted to do the time only I get previous year. I think January, no, the course completed one year. Time flies. One year, sir. One year it has been. It was my heart's desire to do the course. You know? Because, sir, yeah, I completely... your research techniques time. there. Yeah, lot of lot of research techniques are there. Yes, uh, because sir, I agree completely with Sanjay sir uh, because sir Shobham sir, uh -huh. because some points you said now sir, I hundred percent say uh -huh. they are not available in books. Point number one, Jupiter is happiness. You can't find about it in books, sir. Yes, on this earth, I only you. Only you said it. Jupiter is equal to happiness. Point number two. Mercury is equal to prostitution. Nobody said that, sir. 
Mercury is related to prostitution is an experience. Jupiter is happiness. That is a standard principle. Sorry, any classic book you will find. But Venus, they say, sir. Venus, moon. And actually, interpretation say. of sloka is wrong. Right. Uh -huh. so originally, it is written that Jupiter is happiness. The interpretation of sloka is wrong. It is from the classics. Uh, Mercury is prostitution. That is experience. Nobody said Nobody. And another point. Point number three. Saturn is equal to muzzle. Nobody said sir. All will say Mars is equal to muzzle. No, no. Saturn is equal to muscle. This is also a standard principle. Saturn is muscle is a standard principle. Classics and, are interpreted very wrongly. That is the point. And point number four, if a benefic house is filled with malefics, even that lord of that benefic house will lose strength. Yes, yes. No, yes. see, the four are like, sir, star, sir, star of this counter, star, sir. I can't. God's blessing are there. Nothing like that. So, see, courses, sorry. Only two things I do, right? Like in Ashtagvarg, of course, there is a Shubha Malog Ashtagvarg, Shubha Malog Ashtagvarg chart, Shubha Malog horoscope. These are original researches from ground. This I teach. Secondarily, this Jupiter is happiness, Saturn is muscle. This is written in classics. But it is not translated well. It is not interpreted well. So when I teach you a course, I may refer to a classic. But the translation and interpretation is my own. Not available anywhere else. Only these two things I bank upon, right? Other than that, you people know that I don't teach what is already taught. So that is yes. one thing. Yes, really. But, but help me a lot, sir. Like, uh, like in practical experience also, like a hundred crore property guy, he is uh -huh. not getting married. He is not, he, his sister is not getting married. Entire his family is having ill health. Mm -hmm. What would be the reason? Like he can buy or he can bring a topmost doctor in chartered flight. He can, mm -hmm. he can marry any girl in the street. Why mm -hmm. it is not happening? Simple. Jupiter debilitated in a third house with very poor shatpal. Simple. Yes. Got it. Why to struggle more? Yes. Happiness gone. No happiness. Happiness, happiness is gone. Yes, yes, yes. Right. This is the particular thing, you know, sorry, I want the analysis to be very simple for you people, right? Because if you spend five minutes in saying one prediction, then in one hour, you can make 12 predictions only that will not even complete one area of life. The prediction should be done very quickly. Exactly. Speed in prediction is the basic point. Thank you for kind words, you both. Now, coming back to this one more technique I will be giving you. Now, 8th Lord is going into 9th house, 8th Lord is going into different houses that you are now able to interpret. I think more examples are not treated. More principles related to the analysis of house Lord in different houses that I will add to you. This one is, the, the previous one is understood that a house may produce good and bad result both. It is depending on the type of planet who is influencing it. One thing is sorely missed. Talking of Ashtagvarga that we have been talking about, This Ashtagvarga concept, concept is very simple. In the Ashtagvarga of moon, different planets give point to different houses. This is one thing. If sun is giving point to 3, 6, 10 and 11 houses, this is in the Ashtagvarga of sun. In the Ashtagvarga of moon, he may be giving point to different houses in the Ashtagvarga of Mars, he is giving point to different houses in the Ashtagvarga of Mercury, he is giving point to different houses and so on and so forth. So eight planets in eight Ashtagvarga may be giving point to eight different houses. This is something that we get to understand, but where it is coming from? It is coming from the fact of mutual support. So two type of things are there. This you have to understand. One is the relationship. Relationship between planet. There can be four type of relationship. More powerful of which is exchange. Second most powerful of which is aspect of Rashi Lord. What you call dispositor. The third of it will be conjunction. 
and the fourth of it will be sorry third of it will be mutual aspect fourth will be conjunction the first one is the most powerful one the second one is more powerful than the third one but less powerful than the first one so on and so forth now powerful in decreasing order now this relationship is a modifying factor you have to understand it Modifying factor as in you say if Saturn is situated in the 7th house, it will produce misery in marriage. This is a standard result that you will predict. Our house lordship is now an example. Saturn is situated in 7th house, it will produce misery in marriage. Misery is the natural signification of Saturn. Now this Saturn can be 10th lord also. If the Saturn is 10th Lord, it means your spouse will help you in your profession. Right. But is it help you in your profession? The point that Hisham was putting. Is it only helping you in your profession? Are you saying me that every 10th Lord situated in the 7th house means his spouse is helping in a profession only? Does it not mean his spouse is disturbing in a profession? You see? Spouse can disturb in profession also. <clears throat> in this particular case, you have to understand one point. First of all, what I have indicated to you just now is the natural significations and house lordship results are to be mixed together. Right? One result does not cancel another result. One result will not cancel another result. Both results will be present there. Now it is dependent on Rashi. If the Saturn is situated in good Rashi, then misery produced by Saturn is not being produced by Saturn. Then in a state of misery, because Saturn indicates hard work also, you say spouse is working for you. Working for you means helping you in your profession, uh, thinking of your well-being and all of that. Saturn as 10th Lord being situated in 7th house in a good Rashi, it means that spouse is helping you in your profession. In bad Rashi, it will mean that spouse is disturbing you in your profession. 